Hi everyone, I'm Ali Grayman. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to set up your morning routine in a way that benefits your OCD recovery the most. So first things first, you need to make sure you're waking up at about the same time each morning. So it will vary maybe a little bit, but it has to be, you know, more or less within the same half hour. Um, also, it has to be before 9 a.m. Because if you are waking up at 11, at 12, like at noon, um, you're throwing your body clock way off. And this makes a difference in terms of um, how your uh, serotonin levels are, how your uh, cortisol levels are. Um, you know, just trust me, it makes a difference. So you have to wake up before 9 a.m. When you wake up, you need to have a set plan of what you're going to do. This has to be your getting ready for the day. You can't roll out of bed and just kind of keep going how you're looking throughout the entire day. That is not healthy, and this triggers your mind in the way of something is wrong, right? You have to get, get up and get up right away. If you're having thoughts, as soon as you wake up, which is the case for, I would say, the majority, um, don't lay in bed analyzing. You will not figure anything out. Just get up, start going with the routine. When you start to go with the routine, you're giving your mind a lot of other things to process. It's not like it's going to get rid of the thought, but it's going to have to fit in the thought as well as whatever it is that you're doing. So the thought starts to weaken. It's not going to be as strong as if you're in bed giving it full attention. So it already helps. So... Just in those little changes, look what we did. First of all, we, we're normalizing the natural body rhythms, which normalizes production of uh, again, serotonin, all, all kinds of hormones. Um, so we're normalizing that. We're also grounding you, meaning that when you have something to look forward to that's the same every single day, it will make you feel better um, when you feel that the OCD makes you um, not sure what the next moment holds. Am I going to get triggered? Am I going to get stressed out? What's going to happen? Well, no matter what happens in the morning, I'm going to have a set routine. And I'm going to do a video on in the evening and in the afternoon of what you're doing as well, right? So you have set routines throughout the day that you are doing. And no matter what, you have to do those routines. This will ground you and this will give you something to kind of um, just lean on, so to speak, when you are having a hard time. So in the morning, you're preparing for the day. Then throughout the day, if you look good, right? You look at yourself in the mirror um, as you're walking by. and You're like, oh, I look good. I look presentable. And sometimes when OCD is 10 out of 10, it feels like oh, it doesn't even matter. But just maybe 5%, it feels like it does matter, right? And the fact that you're up at a normal time, again, that, that few percent where it's like, you know what, this is good. This is good. I feel like I am uh, going somewhere with this. I feel like I'm, in the, I'm going in the right direction rather than what's the other option. Woke up at 11, rolled out of bed, didn't do anything because not feeling well, then cried, went back to bed again, continued to cry, finally got out of bed, you know, like all of these kind of like mishmash of things, right? Then when you're ready, should you have coffee or not? I would say if you're a 10 out of 10, you probably shouldn't have coffee. Um, if you feel like you need to have coffee, that's fine. Try to at least reduce the amount of caffeine or do like half caffeine, half decaf. You know, that does help as well. So it's this caffeine, um, it kind of works against you when it, when it comes to OCD recovery because it ups the anxiety for a lot of people. It really, I don't know what it is with coffee, but it really triggers people. I find tea um, actually doesn't have the same effect. And many people say that tea actually um, helps them. So try to switch to tea. If you if you have to if you feel like you have to uh, have something in the morning, um, also make sure that you are eating enough food. If you're not eating, um, it it just makes your uh, brain uh, process even worse, right? Than it already is, considering that ninety percent of the brain power is focused on OCD, uh, you know, thought of the day kind of thing, right? So you need to give it fuel. 
So you're eating normal good breakfast. Don't eat junk. You don't need to mess up, you know, the the levels even more by eating junk food. Try to eat decent food. You know, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, perfect diet, you know, because a lot of times people with OCD, they want everything to be perfect. That's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying to have, you know, something that's good, you know, not junk. Um, And then what I was talking about in the previous video, that you're going to your list. So you have a list of things that you need to accomplish in the day and you're sticking to that list no matter what. And this list has to be of things that are actually important. And you're just sticking to the list throughout the day. If This is more video for people who are um, at home, but you can incorporate this thing as well for if you're if you are going to work. I think for people who are going to work, a lot of these routines are already kind of in place. Um, the one thing I would say that if you're working or going to school, um, really look at how much stress you are under when you are there and what is this stress from. If this stress is from unnecessary things that you took on just because you kind of took them on, <laughs> you know, um, try to reduce that workload to only the things you need. Thank you so much for watching. I will be doing a separate video on the evening routine. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I do daily videos about all things related to OCD recovery. If you would like to do one-on-one recovery program, all the information is on youhaveocd.com. You can sign up from there. Please make sure if you're signing up, book all of the appointments so uh, we have you in the schedule. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.